you to be one who stands in happy anticipation of these thoughts that are turning to things, not dread, not worry. If you stand in dread or worry, you are in anticipation, but you've been holding thoughts that have momentum going that you really want to diffuse. So we want this gathering to be a helpful moment to you where you figure out in more moments of now, more moments of now, 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 where all of your power is, all of your power to infuse or defuse. If you find yourself dreading negative anticipation, you want to defuse, meaning you want to change the subject, you want to turn the other cheek, you want to do anything and everything you can to diffuse the attraction that you've got going on that for sure you've got going on or you wouldn't be feeling the manifestation of negative emotion. But if you're feeling frisky and fun and full and eager, if you're feeling love and that desire that feels like enthusiasm, infuse, give it more attention, talk more about it, say more words, make more plans. You get the idea. That's really all we've got. We hope you like it. It's a secret to living happily ever after. You are going to live forever after. And most of it is going to be happily ever after because most of the time in your eternalness, you're going to be non-physical energy like we are. And we don't push against nothing ever. Even when you have very good reason that you think we should join you in your pushing against something, we don't. That's why you feel so bad. You think it's about what you're pushing against and you think it's about us not joining you and you're pushing against and it is about us not joining you and you're pushing against but it's the not letting you yourself be in alignment with yourself that is your problem it's not whatever you've chosen as the excuse to not let yourself be who you are well, that's a big one because the world is full of so many people who annoy you <laughs> at all kinds of levels so we're just going to start with one premise that you'll hear filtered through everything that happens after that. That as you settle into this, as you settle into this way of looking at you, your life, those around you, your world, what's going on with everything, the thing that is causing the most discomfort and distress to the individual humans of your planet is the determination to observe it that's a good thing you wanted to do that identify wanted and unwanted that's a good thing too that's what the eternalness is all about that's how it happens but in your human tendencies you have this thing where you want to figure out what's right and in the process of sifting and sorting, you almost without exception decide that you're right, which means that anything or anyone you disagree with has to be wrong. And we just want to point out that that defies what you knew to be when you decided to come into this body because you knew, you not only knew about it, you were not only aware of it, you embraced it completely. You knew that there would be variety and diversity. And you knew that out of that, you would choose your individual focus of creativity. And you knew that when you chose what you prefer, and if you do not contradict what you prefer by pushing hard against its opposite, that your preference will be, by law of attraction, gathered all the cooperative components of your, of your, of your, of your preference. All of the cooperative components of your preference are gathered. Talk about a conspiracy. <laughs> it's a conspiracy to uplift. So if you can think about, rather than wanting to be right, if instead you can think about the path of least resistance, say it again, the path of most allowance, the path of most allowance to what? The path of most allowance to the evolved you, to the preferred you, to the newly decided you, then you will find what you have been looking for. 
the empowerment, the power of this universe, the power that creates worlds. You'll find it flowing through your fingertips. You'll realize that you've not come to prove anything. You didn't come to measure yourself against others and to prove them wrong so that you can stand in right. So many humans really think that they can push hard against unwanted and if they can push hard enough against it, it will disappear and then they will be standing in the absence of what they don't want when the opposite is the way the law of attraction works. The harder you push against what you do not want, the more you are disallowing the cooperative components you do want and the more you are allowing the cooperative components that you don't want. Infuse or diffuse? Focus and feel. So that's it. That's all you need to know. Takes some practice, doesn't it? It's not the easiest thing in the world to be looking right at the results of something you do not want. And you don't want to stand there like a dummy, like, oh yeah, well, it's all right with me when it isn't, when it doesn't feel all right with you. But it would be so helpful for you to understand why it doesn't feel all right with you. It doesn't feel all right, not because the universe is so small that it cannot allow other people to live how they are choosing to live. It's because what somebody else is attracting really isn't your business and it isn't something that you need to do anything about. Ooh, that lands hard, doesn't it? Because it feels like if I don't stop whatever it is that I don't want, that it'll get bigger when the opposite of that is true. So we're eager to talk with you about anything you want to talk about. Nothing is off limits. It's going to be a very fun day. It is our knowing that your point of attraction will shift in the hours that we are together and that the evidence of that shift will be apparent to you. See it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it, delicious, observational, turning thoughts to thing evidence. So let's see what's up. Oh, there's a lot of trouble in this room. <laughs> On the aisle right here. Stand if you think it's you. Yeah, come on. See? See? So was that right or wrong? There are clearly stairs. Cost quite a bit to get them too. The hotel didn't have them. They had to truck them in from some faraway place. We want to get your attention about that. That's easy to say no right or wrong. His choice, yeah? Everything is like that. His choice. If you like the stairs, take the stairs. Yeah. So back up and give that sentence to us again. I understand my job is to follow the path of least resistance. And my job is more than that my job is to be in a physical body and live life and come to my personal preferences and then in the process of that i'm going to be asking either with my words or with the rockets of desire that radiate from me so my job is to sift and sort and ask and then to calibrate to what i've asked for but you know it's not even your job to calibrate. It's not your job to do any of this. It's your eternal nature to do it. Your now calls you. It interests you. It intrigues you. It engages you. It makes you feel things. And so as you know what you don't want, that's a wonderful step one moment because in knowing what you absolutely do not want, you know what you do want, whether you're able to verbalize it clearly or not. And you launch that rocket. And so you've done your job, whether you knew that you were doing your job or not, you do your job by existing here as you intended to. So you launch that rocket and then source energy and your inner being do their job, but they don't do their job because they've been assigned a job. It's because it's the nature of all of us who are non-physically focused to trust that you sifted it out and that your preference is valid for you and then we don't take our eyes off this new piece that you have asked for that's why you don't need to worry about nothing and so many of you want to assign this benevolence to a creator or to an entity or to a being and that's fine because this consciousness manifests in lots and lots and lots of different wonderful ways but we want you to 
understand through the life that you're living through the way that you're feeling through the feeling your alignment and through your feeling of your resistance how it all works and the thing about assigning the credit to a creator instead of to creator in other words each of you you are creator you are creator and your inner beings are creator instead of assigning it to someone that you want to be so capable of sifting and sorting it all and choosing the right and wrong of it ooh, none of that is going on because all of the contrast is valuable and appreciated because it's what gives any of you the ability to focus something into being now we know usually when a thousand people get together like this and hear us talking like this they think oh I don't know how good we all are at this in other words you like it better if there's someone that you deem smarter making the decisions but really friends how's that working out for you when you turn over to others that's the thing that you push the most against you started it almost the first year you were in your body someone wanted to guide you instead of letting you decide start again we're going to work through this because this is profoundly important okay so I understand my job is to follow the path of least, resi least resistance it's not your job it's to your benefit you will feel the best when you do that because if you follow the path of any resistance it won't feel good it'll feel like you've got your feet stuck in the mud when you say I want that but you don't go anywhere there's no satisfaction in that so you want to diffuse the parts that don't feel good while you infuse the parts that do feel good so that you are utilizing this wisdom of the non-physical counterpart of you and the non-physical counterpart of you is using the wisdom of your new discovery and your new decision see how it all works together the population of this planet will eventually not exist not all at once you just croak a little at a time <laughs> and are born croak born croak born croak it's just constantly changing 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 and it's not changing toward an end ever where the majority of the population all of it or the majority of it will agree on everything because that would take the eternalness out of eternity that would take the process of creation out of the molding of the creators you see so we're getting closer to articulating what your job is your job is to be and here you be and our job is to be and here we be and your job is to focus and you are focusing and your job is to feel your focus into something that feels good to you which means you got to stand in a place that loves you that worthy you worthy you worthy you worthy you and also stand in a place of loving me human me human worthy me without condemning evil others because it doesn't matter what you focus upon when you hold that I need to get rid of it attitude you are throwing sand on your own trail you are slowing the process between you and what you want we know this sounds like nitpicking but you've heard a whole lot you've been wondering about haven't you they didn't answer don't ignore them <laughs> haven't you <clears throat> don't you know that there's a non-physical part of you and a physical part of you don't you want to feel what the connection is and can't you feel when you're tuned in tapped in turned on can't you feel when you're not and don't you want to know your empowerment more and more if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video